indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotafic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur. <laughs> Just drunk, though. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing. Are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean Louis is never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing his dramatic rescue. Who's gonna pay me to find this barber? I will. Such opportunities come knocking rarely. But you must take me with you, for I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally, to be expected. Yes, just to the other one, yeah. Yes, by all means, as you wish. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course, you shan't even notice me. John Lewis Studio is just there, right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. <laughs> Well, this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the court she rides. Today, all remember my fine couplets of the tawny. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking, breaking it down. It down. <laughs> Yeah, so for those who didn't see, we basically finished the previous uh, side quest over here and we just came here for this other one and there's even, even there is one more here and another one here so those will be doing those two later or after this one so let's break the shit out of this door this door right here. Yeah. I suppose hard will do. Yeah. Oh. Near the Let's go inside. Locks untouched, no attempt at forced entry. This jar is empty too. Never believed it. The coiffer's log. The manicure, curling, Cintrian pendulum, Arabian ponytail, raftsman's do. Longer style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain. Lady La Pompadou, know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean-Louis done her hair for a decade. 
completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. Does this mean anything to you? Hmm. I may understand where it points, but if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. I think I understand. As do I. Perhaps. Hmm. Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see rays as pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute? I think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out. Of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Yeah. I think you could find the place using his map. Naturally. Lead the way then. And this mission is going just to prove a crappy one. We're going to go there, nothing is going to happen, and maybe then something will come out of nowhere and attack this uh, Le Papillon and probably kill him. They ventured beyond walls by vines entwined Into the unknown that poor barber to find Gonna do that the whole way? Bidding them farewell, the gravestones must covered They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered <sighs> The location from the map. Damn it, get back. Beast was that? An Arcaspore. Might there be more nearby? Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. Oh, a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's blade flesh juices spouted and poured, covering all about in an Arcaspore's gore. No piece of the stylist fell from its bowels. The frisser had been nabbed by orders most foul. There! Jean Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain now. A basket of flower petals. Same smell as the pomade. Uh, here come the other ones from the ground. Grass is trampled. Sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not cyclopes. Hard pressed to find a rhyme for that. I can hear you where to go to. So, on his trail yet, are you? Yeah, to the cave. Be your man. Ground's made of rock. Trail's gone cold. Wandered deeper into the cave. My, the Taxotakis took brought one to fear. Fear uninspiring. No rhymes at the ready. No damsel will manage to resist. Pure 
poppycock, you beard mongler! The latest rage in some bomb-botched cover. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What, what the do do hell? What did he do? He coughed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drink, a beaver bottle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tournament. I'd have proved my valor. Mama said Vivian that have read my prize. Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is what they start. <laughs> I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. Doesn't seem terribly chivalrous. What about honor? Your oath on the peacock, all that. I do vow on the noble bird, I shall gut you if you do not skedaddle. Honor! Stand and fight! I challenge thee! And you boys dare not intervene! By golly, by gum, this will be chivalrous! <laughs> Listen, children, a story you shall hear of a witcher who walloped a wrong night steady air. I shall slaughter that shit style out of my way! That was pretty easy. Actually, it's too growing easy. rather late. I believe we'll be on our way. Le Papio, le Beholder's wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he. Quiet, both of you. I've got it. He falls in their fear, the knight's henchmen and squires, while his bowels set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated, his neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. They hobbled a pace on his stump palms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually. Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need and come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to trim my hair with you. Of shoes and all which are sin. Yeah, bitch. see shit out here. So let's do... Let's meditate. Quick save as always. And let's go for another one of the side quest. We can go here to... No, there's three. To tell the truth, I have heard about the immensity of this, this DLC, but I didn't believe it, guys. It's fucking huge indeed. 
It's a whole new game. Guardian Embassy. Oh, crap. Governing the Beauclair fist fighting circuit. Are you familiar with them? Yeah. You fight with fists. There's much to add beyond that. You must make a wager to join the contest. There are three champions. Challenge them all, defeat them honorably, and you may try your luck against the Maestro. Do you wish to jump in? Considering yep. it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancombe is no ordinary fighter. Mancombe? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancombe is a sad, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his riposts are sharp. Sure, call me in, boy. Fine, let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum botching black and bile filled blister. Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to <laughs> empty my sister's bedpan, you mange-ridden mutant, not even a man! Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why, you... bad... Uh, I've got to admit. You know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher was beating Mancom at his own game. What the fuck? You out-tongued me. Not only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mount Bank Alley, while Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. Okay, let's go for Still Waters. Pretty close, but I think mm, nope. This one is up here.
Nothing to see here. Move along. off against still waters? Shall you? Shall you? Like to know who I'm punching. This knight won't reveal his name or face. Won't say anything at all, not a word. Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So? <laughs> Will you fight or not? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> That's a girl. Noble lords That's definitely and virtuous girl. ladies. Another fight is soon to begin. So is this going to be a fist fight? Gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Still Waters, and what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Yeah, that's definitely. Your blows are strong and yeah. true. My congratulations. Sorry, that was a girl. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks. What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. Now only Colossus stands between you and a chance at the Maestro. San Sebastian, that's where you should go. Look for the largest courtyard. Told you that was wench. <laughs> Save and we can continue.